When we're talking about Manchester City then, Eamon, and trying to evaluate the season that's just been and what we've seen from Pep Guardiola's team, I suppose we have to try and measure how good the league is and how strong the league is, i.e. how many teams there are that actually can compete at the top level. Well, I mean, Chelsea shot their own coach before the season. You know, that's that's self-harming. Arsenal, well... Do I, I don't need to spell out what's happened. They've, they've dropped out away altogether. Yeah. Um, Manchester United is just a kind of soap opera. It's a bit tacky. Um, and you're left with Tottenham, who don't have a deep squad at all. I mean, their first substitute is Sissoko, who, you know, couldn't kick snow off a rope, to be honest. Uh, Wanyama. They, there isn't anyone else with the spending power of Guardiola. 700 million, I think. Now, he didn't spend all of that. I think it's. Um, he spent over 350 million since he came in, but uh, he's got unlimited money and unlimited power. Just to go back to what Alan was saying there about uh, uh, Mourinho, Davy Russell went to Tremor yesterday and rode two winners. Yeah. So he didn't get carried away by winning the Grand National. Yeah. You know, and they got carried away because they beat Manchester City. Manchester City were tired, but all the other top clubs have, uh, for one reason or another damaged themselves so essentially there isn't any real competition for Manchester City if they keep on an upward trajectory and there's no reason why they shouldn't he might buy a couple of players but he bought a guy called Laporte now for 59 million Mm. Uh, he's no good (coughs) <coughs> I, th- yeah, I mean he's hopeless I, he played uh, against Spurs on Saturday night and he's very 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 average I think one thing you have to pay tribute to though Eamon from Guardiola's point of view and this is I think it's his 7th league title in 9 seasons it's the football well, where's the pick- he been Alan he's been at Barcelona yeah, Eamon- and Bayern Munich <laughs> Bayern Munich are going to win the league this year they beat the, the Dortmund 6-0 I Dortmund understand that Eamon but you, you spoke a minute ago about Alex Ferguson being one of the greats how many Champions League has Alex Ferguson won? I think he won two two, two. how many has Guardiola won? two so and he's only he, how many years was Ferguson going a lot more than Guardiola Guardiola's I think it's his 10th season he's won 23 trophies Hugh. so this fella shouldn't be dismissed either I know uh, he's had a bad week in terms no of the Champions League no one's dismissing Guardiola no but I think what you have to what trying to ask for is a bit of perspective and, and, not, and, and a bit of respect for the history of the game yeah, but he, and but in the history of the game Guardiola would be way below some great managers um, not least the guy who's at uh, at Bayern Munich now Joe Pankis he won two Champions League and no one even knows how to pronounce his name except me yeah but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. Eamon can I ask you one question right yeah. because you, you slaughter Martin O'Neill for the football he plays and rightly so oh, in my opinion right. okay Yeah. and as I do and I agree totally with Janet this fella's playing a brand of football from the heavens and yet I know Alan but <laughs> football is about balance it's, it's not from the heavens it's, it's <laughs> it is Eamon it actually is last Tuesday he played a team with no defenders. No, and, and that's the point that with the, with he, the Champions he, he, League he, stuff... He, no, he, that's his weakness. Now, when you saw that team sheet and, you know, automatically was the anchor man in the centre at the back of a back three. Come on. No, but... about I, I, I company sitting on the bench. No, but uh, that's the that's the area, and I said it to you last was it last a good Wednesday. Coach wouldn't do that. Alan. No, but as I said to you last Wednesday, coach wouldn't do that. Will you let me speak? <laughs> uh, yes, relax, as, I, <laughs> as I said to you last Wednesday, I agreed with you on that part. That certainly going forward, he does neglect and and whatever about beating the West Broms and uh, and the Evertons and all these Mickey Mouse teams in the Champions League, especially the latter stages, is where he will come up against top quality opposition that will punish your defenders, and that's something he needs well, to address. Uh, Alan, not, but you, but you can't dispute him and the football that he's played at, know, at Alan, Barcelona, Bayern no, Munich, I Man saw, City. Yet you, you know, slaughter Martin man. O'Neill for the way he plays football. No, hold on, that's that's ridiculous. I mean, look, last Tuesday night, this great coach that you, this guy you think is a great, he coach. is a great coach. He is, is a he? great well, coach. Why did he leave Vincent Company on the bench? Well, you'd have to ask him for that reason. Ah, come on, you're an analyst. Yeah. and, I, and, well, and like, You know, we, we're doing analysis here. Yeah. If he's a great coach, why did he leave Vincent Company on the bench for a match that would take them to the semi-finals of the Champions League and against Liverpool? If he, he, that was because he has some crazy philosophy, and it is crazy. 
You it's, don't need Vincent Company to play in a big match like that. It's far from crazy, Eamon. His football is unreal. Oh, OK, well, uh, people will judge, but I don't know how you can play football without defenders. And neither, incidentally, has any manager in the history of the game paid lit- so little regard to one of the great arts of the game. Does it, there, is a, uh, there, there are stories going around that the city don't practice tackling and training, that defence isn't something that... They work on keeping the ball and passing. Well, and being that's, record, but that's, but that's he said before, I don't do tackling. Yeah. I don't coach tackling. That's not the point. The point is, do you respect people who can make tackles at the right time? And if you don't, then you're not... There's something missing in your... But, uh, but his his philosophy in terms uh, of his defending is obviously keeping the ball and all that ah, stuff. Come on, nah, no, but as I say, as I said to you, the latter stages against the top quality oh. is where you're going to get punished for that. Well, I mean, anybody in any field sport, like rugby or ga, for example, that said something like that would be laughed at. But Eamon, this fella's record backs up everything that it he's ever done. Alan, you, you, you're completely off the map with this. He managed Barcelona. Eamon, I, I'm afraid you're the one that's off the map. It's not me. You have to look at... you. Like I, I, I don't know what you want because what O'Neill... What trophies has he won? Sorry? He's won... The, the he's won everything going. Bayern Munich. He's won everything. Oh, yeah. He hasn't won everything. He has. What has he not won? Okay. He had Messi, Xavi, Iniesta at Barcelona and they won the Champions League twice he went to Germany and they won the Spanish Cup and they won the Spanish League they didn't always win the Spanish League but he's had more ammunition now he went to Bayern Munich and they hired him specifically to win the Champions League Real Madrid beat them 5-0 on aggregate in the semi-final I think Barcelona scored 7 against them in the semi-final now he's come to Manchester City Liverpool have beaten them 5-1 and last year in the in the quarter final of the Champions League Monaco beat them 5-3 He's, he hasn't got the record and you've really got to look at the facts the facts are that he's got to prove he has nothing to prove him that's a ridic- Messi, that is a Gavin ridiculous Iniesta, statement he can win real trophies that's probably the most ridiculous statement that Pep Guardiola has to prove he has nothing to prove when you look at his record in ba- and that's lazy to say well all he had was Messi and Xavi and Iniesta anyone could do that did you look at the brand of football that they played he brought through Pedro he brought through Sergio Busquets from the U team then and changed the whole thing he changed Messi's position and put him put him into a yeah, false yeah. nine he yeah, did that's right yeah okay. so Eamon are, like, are you agree with you on certain things about him about the defensive you know side of things but the, the football Champions. that he plays is unbelievable you know and how you can discount that I never know Alan. he won the Champions League in 2008 2011 2011 in my book is a long time ago it's nine years it's eight seven years ago mm. right he took two years out as well remember I only won he was made all those chess grandmasters and top chefs <laughs> <laughs> well Alan he hasn't won the Champions League since 2011. Yeah, I, I get that. But Eamon, but Ferguson, how many attempts did Ferguson have at it? He won it twice. And I think Ferguson is it. I know Ferguson is an unbelievable manager. But it's not an easy tournament to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 you just, at the same time. I'll tell you what you should do. You should take a few like-minded souls out to this restaurant, El Bue, in <laughs> Barcelona. Barcelona. It's closed. Tell them you know Pep and they'll open it up for you. And we'll see what he does at Manchester City. Yeah, and we will. And in fairness to him, obviously, last year, as you said, he had his problems. He's played some unbelievable football this year. He's fallen short in the Champions League. But we'll see. But I don't understand how anyone could suggest that this fella's anything to prove. Well, I think he has. Well, and, and well, we'll, we'll, we'll agree to disagree on that well, one. that's the great thing about <laughs> sport. Um, people will either switch off or text in. There's Any lots texting. You? There's lots texting. Well, somebody wants to know if I left the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm just happy to sit here and let you guys, uh, let uh, you guys uh, chat. I away. don't want to. Alan is only hanging himself. I tell you, I, I make a prediction, Alan. Right? Eamon, you change like the weather, him. so there's only you one will, person hanging you'll, themselves. You'll dump him. He'll never win the Champions League uh, again. Wow, that's some statement. That is a big statement. That right, is big. If he ever wins the Champions League again, I will resign my position. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute now, okay. David. You're going so mad now. You don't see it happening in the next five to ten years. <laughs> and you're accusing me of ludicrous statements. 
uh, a few texts um, good argument going but I'd swap Pep for Mourinho oh, says Audrin and Nace wow Audrin would you <laughs> um, why is someone else why has Eamon got such a grudge against Manchester City but for a few decisions like spent a whole two pages in the Irish Daily Star praising him this morning these are the guys it's the, it's the fanatics I'm that are I, I think he's a terrific coach yeah but he's got a blind spot it's a pretty important one but could I ask you one question and the last question when you watch O'Neill you want to turn the telly off right yeah when you watch Man City what what do you think do you get excited by the football or do you think oh there's there's an accident waiting to happen here or well I'll give you an honest answer when, they, when I saw them at Everton um, three weeks ago uh, they were brilliant mm. they scored three goals and they gave one back but most of the games where they have 82% or 75% possession which where they're camped in the opposition's half aren't that interesting actually because the weak teams in the Premier League are afraid of them and that fear doesn't exist at Liverpool and it doesn't exist strangely enough at Manchester United I don't really think I can respect anything that is so lopsided the balance in the team is crazy I mean there are players there like oh, is a good example Laporte is another example Fabian Delph is a midfield player from Aston Villa that Manchester City bought for 8 million he's playing left fullback, and you're thinking of winning the Champions League but the likes of say Silva De Bruyne obviously they excite you but De Bruyne is a, De Bruyne he's improved De Bruyne Sané has improved but they look a bit tired now on Saturday night mm. again uh, Tottenham I think they are a bit tired he has improved good. I think he gives lads confidence he makes them feel attacking players he makes them feel confident but if you look at the, some of the defending from the game at Anfield in the Champions League just mm. look at it we did the analysis last week with DDM Am, Liam Brady and myself in the studio and you tell me that th- the coach responsible for that defending uh, is a great coach but a flip side of that Eamon right no flip side there is because there's no flip side at half time there should have been two up and no. they absolutely battered Liverpool uh, stop you're fooling yourself there's no flip side there's if a flip side absolutely because there should have been two or three up and that's the other side of the coin there has to be balance put on things you can't just look at it from one angle Alan they lost to Liverpool 5-1 mm, I watched it yeah, but you're telling me now that if they'd have scored, if they'd have been, uh, this allowed goal had been given, that they'd have won? Possibly. Oh, really? Because there would have been two up at half time, uh, they would have had every chance. Would they? Yeah. Without an away goal, would Liverpool not have scored then? Well, then we don't know that. That's all hypothetical. Well, I know now that Liverpool beat them 5 1, and Liverpool got an away goal. They failed to get an away goal. Mm. Uh, and they were very and poor in the first leg. Alan, you're in an infatuation. I just appreciate good football man. That's all. It's an Can abusive relationship. <laughs> I suggest that you take some therapy. Can I ask you? He's a good man to give it to you. Can I ask you about? Um, 